Before heading to a new city, you've got to find out where the best photo ops are. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most Instagrammable spots in San Francisco. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the most beautiful, unique, and popularly photographed locations in San Francisco. We're excluding restaurants, bars, and cafes because those could comprise a whole list of their own. We're also excluding anything that isn't within the city limits, like nearby Muir Woods. Number 10. Coit Tower Located in the Telegraph Hill neighborhood of San Francisco, this 210-foot tower was paid for posthumously in 1933 by eccentric San Franciscan Lily Hitchcock Coit. She was passionate about the city in which she lived, so much so that when she passed away, she donated a full third of her fortune to be used to further beautify the city. Admittedly, the colors in the area can look a little drab at midday, so it's best to photograph the Lillian Coit Memorial Tower at either dawn or dusk for the most dramatic results. Number 9. Mission Dolores Park Every major city seems to have a place where the more free-spirited citizens gather on weekends. And with its reputation as a cultural hub, San Francisco of course has a notable one. In addition to serving as a hotspot on sunny days for hula hoopers, drum players, and girls wanting to get their tan on, Dolores Park offers an incredible view of the city. From tennis and basketball courts to playgrounds and palm trees, there are tons of things to photograph here, whether you're people watching or staring at the skyline. Number 8. Painted Ladies If you watched Full House, you'll recognize the Painted Ladies as the houses that are featured in the series' opening credits. In real life, this famous stretch is located across from Alamo Square, at 710 to 720 Steiner Street. The candy-colored pastel houses, built in the Edwardian and Victorian style, make for a vibrantly hued architectural shot that you won't be able to get anywhere else. Unsurprisingly, this row has been photographed a lot, so try to snap a unique angle or perspective to give it your own spin. Whether you were a Full House fan or not, this shot is a must-have. Number 7. Golden Gate Park while the bridge may get all the glory, Golden Gate Park is beautiful in its own right. At over a thousand acres, this park is huge, so you'll need at least a full day if you want to explore the whole thing. After spending a few days in the city, it's nice to get a dose of nature and take in the flora and fauna of the park. If you only have time for the highlights, though, make sure to check out the California Academy of Sciences, the Japanese Tea Garden, and the Conservatory of Flowers, a Victorian glass greenhouse that makes for a great photo. Number 6. Viewpoint at Twin Peaks If you want to get a panoramic view of this beautiful city, you'll have to get to higher ground. Thankfully, right at the center of San Fran, you'll find the Twin Peaks, two large hills that will give you an incredible vista for your photos. You'll likely want the help of a rental car to get to the top unless you're feeling adventurous, in which case you can also use the stairs to climb up there. Either way, once there, you'll get great views at any time of day. But at sunset, it's utterly spectacular. Number 5. Ocean Beach On the west coast of the city of San Francisco, near Golden Gate Park, is the majestic Ocean Beach. Head over there for an evening bonfire or to watch the surfers during the day. You can't go wrong with beach shots, but for the best Instagram content, make sure to set your camera to square mode, so you can frame the waterline as it'll be seen on the gram. Unfortunately, San Fran's signature fog obscures the beach for part of the summer, so make sure to check the weather report before you head over. Number 4. Haight Street The Haight-Ashbury neighborhood is historically known for being a center of the hippie movement, and has continued to be a hub for counterculture in the decades since. Famous musicians like Janis Joplin have lived in the area, and the vibe remains decidedly artsy and hip. There's no one thing in particular to photograph here, but rather lots of interesting storefronts to explore and people watching to do. The best time to visit is during the Haight-Ashbury Street Fair in June, when the area is flooded with visitors. Number 3. Palace of Fine Arts If you're heading into Presidio Park near the Golden Gate Bridge, be sure to stop for a quick photo at the Palace of Fine Arts while en route. This classical Greek-inspired structure will make you feel like you just hop off a time machine and into ancient Athens. If you want to capture this setting in all its glory, give yourself some space to take a full wide-angle or panoramic shot. If the water is calm enough and you can manage to get the reflection of the palace, you'll be raking in the new followers as soon as you post. Number 2. Pier 39 and Fisherman's Wharf if you're looking for something that's completely unique to the city of San Francisco, this is it. 
Fisherman's Wharf is popular with tourists, but it's also a great spot to get a collection of wonderful photos. As you stroll along the water, try to capture the streetcars ambling by. Of course, a picture of the classic Fisherman's Wharf sign is a must. And if you're an animal lover, you have to go to Pier 39 to see the sea lions basking in the sun. It's been said that June is the best time to catch the sea lions in all their glory, but they're there off and on all year round. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Golden Gate Bridge Of course, during your stay you'll need a pick of San Francisco's most recognizable landmark. The Golden Gate Bridge is one of the most photogenic bridges in the world due to its red color, which stands out so wonderfully against the background. There are a few different spots where you can get a great shot of the bridge, starting with Battery Spencer, which you'll have to leave the city to visit. From here, you'll get the bridge with the city in the background for a postcard perfect shot. Other options for photo locations are Fort Point, Baker Beach, and Fort Baker, each of which offers their own distinct perspective. 